Hello, this is Alex, and in this video, we are going to go over how to apply different varieties of point loads along a member length. So, for this video, we will start off by just going up to New Line Load. And you can see within the New Line Load window, we have the option for concentrated loads. We can start off with a concentrated load of just P with a length of A. I've shown this in one of my previous videos, but you can easily put a load in for load parameters and then you can check this relative distance percentage and if I wanted to put it 50% away from the member start I can enter in 50 and we can make sure our load direction is correct and click OK. We can then just click on our line or member and you can see that it'll put a point load of 3 kips 50% away from the start of the member. We'll delete this load and we can go back into new line load now let's say we wanted to have multiple point loads. We can choose this N times P option under concentrated. And now we have more options down in our load parameters where if we wanted, let's say, six point loads of negative three kips. And you can see up here a graphic change to represent our different options down here. We now have an A distance away for the first point load. And then the rest of the distances are a B distance. So for our first distance we would like to have zero and then for the rest of the distances we can set them to 20 percent. So now our point load will start at the first node of the member and then each point load will be 20 percent distance away from each other. You'll see this we can click OK and now we can apply this to our beam and as you can see we have six point loads each 20 percent distance away from each other we can highlight these, delete them, and now let's say you wanted to have a pair of point loads where two loads are paired with each other and you can pick the distance of those two paired point loads away from each other and then also the distance between those two point loads. You can choose this 2 times 2p option under concentrated. We want our point loads to still be negative 3 kips and then you can see that we have this x distance away from the start of the member. We can set that to 10% away from the member and then we can have our distance between our two point loads be 10% and then the distance between those two point loads, those pairs, we can have also 10%. Now you can see what this looks like when we add it to our beam. We have 10% away from the start, 10% between our pairs, and 10% between those two pairs. If we wanted this to span longer along our beam we can just double click on our loads and I would like to have the pairs start from 25% away from the start and we'll keep 10% between them and then we could have 20% in between the pairs themselves and now you can see that we have 25% from the start, 10% between the pairs, and then 20% in between those two pairs. Now let's say we wanted those same options but we only we didn't want pairs we just wanted a single point load. Well, we have the option for two times a point load, and now we can do two separate point loads. Let's make this negative five kips. We can make the second one negative three, and we have the option to set these two point loads 25% away from the start for A, and then the distance between those two point loads we can set to 30%. We'll click OK, and now we can click on our line in the graphic, and you can see what these two point loads will look like graphically. We have 25% away from the two point loads, and then 35% between them. Now let's say you wanted to add point loads starting from the highest from the beginning, and then every 10% you wanted the point load to go down in a trapezoidal shape. You can easily do this by going to member or line load, go into your concentrated loads, and we have the option for user defined. This you can get really technical with and there's a lot of great options. If you go under edit user defined concentrated load button, you have the option to create point loads wherever you want along the span of the beam by using this table where x is the percent distance away from the start. The change delta x or the change in x is the change between each of your point loads and then you can set the point load in this right hand column. So if we wanted to start our point loads at the very first node and we want the first point load to be 10 kips and then the next one we would like to start at 10% away from the start and we want this to go down in a linear fashion so we'll have 9 kips and then if you follow this the program is smart enough to recognize that this is a pattern you would like to make so then you can easily 
just click on the next cells and the program will automatically create and fill in the next cells for you which is pretty nice so now you can see we have our linear point loads going at a change in slope of one kip all the way along the span of the beam until it's until it gets to zero now we can click OK and we can see what this looks like. We don't have to do anything else in this dialog box. We can click OK again. And now we can graphically select the line or member we would like to apply this load to. And as you can see, our loading is applied to the member automatically and it is in the positive Z direction. So if you wanted this load to be down on the member, you can just go back into user defined and you can set this first load as negative 10 and, and you can just delete all of these set this back up and just automatically create your loading again click OK click OK and your loading will be switched so I hope this video helped expand your knowledge on how to apply multiple point loads on a member within the next video we will go over the same concept except it will be for uniform loads and how to apply those to the member thanks for watching